Today, students at University High School in Volusia County are back at school for the first time since three of their classmates were arrested. One accused of strangling his mother to death, the other two accused of helping cover it up. 15-year-old Gregory Ramos remains locked up in juvenile detention after his first court appearance yesterday. Investigators say he killed his mother following a fight over a bad grade, then buried her body near a church. Two teens accused of helping in the cover-up are under house arrest. News 6 at Sashel Saunders spoke with parents and students at University High about the investigation. The parents and students we talked to were for the most part speechless. They really couldn't fathom what police say happened. I was just speechless, honestly. It's just crazy to hear that. 12th grader Nicholas Edwards didn't know either of the students involved in the cover-up and murder of mom Gail Clevenger. Still, it hit him just as hard. Friends calling from as far as New York as news that 15-year-old Gregory Ramos allegedly waited as his mom slept, attacked her, then choked her nearly 30 minutes to be sure she was dead. Deputies say Ramos buried her at a nearby church. I was just in awe. I was like, what? Over grades as well. Like, that's just wild. Closer to home for dad, Scott Alman. Got my kids going to school with them since kindergarten. Ramos had hung out with his son over the years. Both had a hard time understanding. You, these days you don't know when, I mean, I don't know what it is that's making them snap. Almond says from what he could tell, Ramos was kind, his mother even nicer. Almond says her world revolved around him, but admittedly, parenting gets hard. It gets harder. You got, and it seems like you've got all of culture against you. You know, if you try to discipline, well, then everybody tells you how wrong you are for it. You know, I mean, it's, it's a different world than it used to be. Ramos's mother was 46 years old. His father was on a business trip at the time this happened. Reporting in Volusia County, Sashel Saunders, News 6.